Hey, Coach Michael Burt here. I'm standing in a new condo, $1.5 million condo that I purchased in downtown Nashville. On the corner in the 505 building, I purchased this condo unit, look at them views. Off market. And it came from building a successful business. Okay, you see I have my office in the downstairs in the greatness factory here, so I wanted a building in here. I was negotiating with a, a landlord up top that I was renting from. He kept raising the price. He eventually got up to $2.6 million for the condo, and I go, come on, man. Where there's a will, there's always a way. So I had an agent who I kept following up with, and she kept following up with me, and I said, go find me an off-market unit that I could purchase. I knocked this wall out right here of a two-bedroom to make it a one-bedroom huge studio look at that this is views from the second bedroom that is now one big huge bedroom now there's a couple lessons here lesson number one is got two bathrooms big beautiful views of downtown nashville i'm up on the 35th floor there's a couple lessons here i want to show you number one where there's a will there's always a way my granddad taught that Number two, if you got a want to, you can find a how to. Number three, from my book, Million Dollar Follow-Up, I just kept following up. They said there's no inventory available. These are, these are coveted units because they're on the corner and they got panoramic views of Nashville and they're up high and they're millions of dollars. Folks, this is why you follow up. I kept going back to the agent. I know you can find me a place. I know you can find me a place. So then we came in, completely painted the unit. We're getting finished, opened it up, opened the space up. And then I got a unit almost exactly like the one I had upstairs for a million less dollars. And I got my office downstairs. So I get on the elevator and I go down to my office. Now I'm only showing you this because uh, a couple key lessons. Number one, to, to buy a unit like this, I had to build a successful business. I had to build the skills to be able to go out and produce millions of dollars in revenue to be able to buy a million five condo in downtown Nashville. Number two, I think this is gonna appreciate. I think it's gonna be worth two five at some point in the future because they're not building any more condos. Number three, how do I feel when I'm here? I feel like millions of dollars. My mindset's thinking bigger. How could you not think bigger when you're looking out over the city like that and seeing all the possibility? And there's Broadway down there. Kid Rocks did 40 million last year in revenue. See, that's an intangible. You can't measure it, okay? So, so I had to build a successful business, skill. I had to locate my primary skill. I had to deconstruct that skill. I had to package that skill. I had to market that skill. And then I could monetize that skill. So I had to build a successful business, but that's based on primary skills. I wrote about that in a book called Single Digit Millionaire. That's, I'm about to do redo a new Double Digit Millionaire. Okay, so I had to locate my skill, I had to package it, I had to market it, I had to monetize it. I had to get really good at selling, I had to get really good at marketing, number one. Number two, I had to think bigger. I had to, I had to think bigger. Like 10 years ago, I wouldn't be thinking about owning a million five condo in downtown Nashville. Wouldn't be thinking about building a seven million dollar complex down there because I was thinking too small. How do you do that? You get in a room with people thinking bigger. Number two, okay? Number three, I had to have the persistence. This is Prey Drive. This is from my book, Flip the Switch. So I'm kind of combining three of my books here. I had to have the Prey Drive to activate. This activates Prey Drive, folks. If this don't activate your Prey Drive, I don't know what will, okay? I had to have the, the persistence to follow up with the agent and say, I know you can get this done for me. And I had to have the intensity to just keep pushing. So I'm negotiating with the dude. He won't come down. He's going up. We started at 1.7. Then he went to 2. .8, and Then he went to 2.2. Then he went to 2.6. And I'm like, what the hell are you smoking? 2.6 million dollars? Come on, man. I can't. So, so what I did is come down and create my own unit that's got just as good of views as my other unit. I actually got more views when I opened it up like this. All I had to do is take out this wall. Folks, creativity and prey drive. Remarkable boldness and prey drive. Initiative and prey drive. That's what you need, okay? So right now it's Memorial Day weekend. I'm running Memorial Day special where I teach you mindset, skill set. I'm teaching you how to think like a pro, man. I'm thinking to you how, to showing you how I went from a high school basketball coach to this. You can do this. You, you can do this. But I got to get that prey drive activated and I got to show you step by step. So what books, Single Digit Millionaire, I wrote, uh, Million Dollar Follow-Up and Flip the Switch are three books I used to get that right there. You guys have a great day. Let's go.
before I get started, there is one very important question I have to ask you. Coach Michael Burt, Monster Producer Academy CEO. He's a personal friend of mine. What good is it to have knowledge with no desire? What good is it to have desire with no skill? What good is it to have knowledge and skill with no confidence? A big part of activating your prey drive is finding and refining your talent. This is something that helps you get to the next place. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. You need to know you, and then you need to have an awareness, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. So all four parts of our nature have to be clicking. Your hard skill solves my problem. The bigger the problem, the more money people are paid to solve it. Everything is valuable to your future. What I'm really paying you for is your past. A monster producer combines multiple skills to dominate a market. When you get to wake up every day and do what you love doing, man, it is hard not to be motivated. They think at a higher ordinance than everybody else. They want to create new things. I have a conviction about me, and that's the conviction that you feel when I talk, when I speak. It comes across as passion. You got to learn how to connect to another person at such a deep level that it moves them. You have goals, you have targets, but you don't have a sense of urgency. They're going to exchange money, energy. They're going to raise capital. They're going to start new businesses. There's going to be joint ventures. I think your purpose finds you. It is activated. The word activate means to initiate. Discipline, which is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future, yes or no? When we know better, we do better. Finding the problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve, and you don't know what problem you really solve for whom, then there is no big financial exchange right there. You should leave here thinking bigger today than when you came. And I want to shake your hand and look you in the eyeball when you make this decision. Thank you. We'll see you in the back. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.